Hey everybody, this is Jen from Spellbound Adventures. We are here today in Islands of Adventure at uh, Universal Studios down in Orlando, Florida. And today we're gonna be doing a special episode of, you know, Will I Fit? Will there be any issues of getting on the rides, especially the main roller coasters? And let's just have fun today. My husband's with me here, Chris, and he is my camera guy for the day. So let's get going. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are back here in Islands of Adventure. We are in, actually in front of Poseidon's Fury right now. We are on our way to Hagrid's. Um, so this morning, we got here for early park admission. We got here a little bit after eight o'clock, and when you stay here at the hotels, you get in an hour early before the parks open. And usually, I just heard that Hagrid's is actually close to a two-hour wait, but I have a secret for this morning. I actually have a Ruby Pass that I got last night. So I'm gonna be able to get on the ride pretty quickly this morning and we're gonna see, you know, will I have any issues fitting or not? So come along with us and we hope you have some fun. All right, so I got my Ruby Pass. I'm gonna go up and hopefully I won't take too long to get there. So I'll let you know. So I'm going on to Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure and I'll let you know, how does it go? Well, how'd it go? It was awesome, I loved it. As always, Hagrid's never disappoints. Loved every moment of it. And I actually sit in the car. I don't sit on the bike. I sat with somebody, it was her first time, so I was like, you have to ride the bike. But uh, it was amazing, had no problems. And uh, we're gonna be moving on to the next ride soon. Hi, everybody, we're back. We're gonna be going on Forbidden Journey next. This is also another one of my favorite Harry Potter rides over here in Islands of Adventure. So uh, come on, let's go see what happens. That was awesome. So no issues on Forbidden Journey, had so much fun. Um, highly recommend that if it's your first time here, walk the whole queue. The castle is amazing to look at. They did such a, a wonderful job of representing the movies and the books. But after you've done it a few times and you don't mind being a single rider, hop on the single rider line. It literally is like no wait at all. I think maybe five minutes tops. So. Are all the seats the same? Uh, you want to sit on the two like outside seats if you're on the heavier side. The, in, the two inside seats are a little bit smaller, so I always sit on one of the two outside seats. So, but I have no problem and had a great time. We'll do it again. So we're going to be heading over to Velocicoaster next. This is, I've only been on it a couple times, um, but it's pretty intense. <laughs> so come on with us. We're going to go over to Velocicoaster and see if I have any issues today. No problem at all, except I almost lost my lanyard on, on the uh, going over in the turns. But yeah, had no problems at all. Um, the track is so smooth. Uh, just remember, you uh, maybe you want to put your hair up because uh, mine is pretty naughty right now. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but uh, no, had no problems. It was a great, great, great ride. This is like my third time doing it, and uh, highly recommend it. Okay, so we're back towards like the front of Islands of Adventure. So if you can look behind me, you'll see the Hulk. I was gonna ride it today. I did ride it last night, no problem. But unfortunately right now it's closed to maintenance. It may come up later today, but we don't know when. So unfortunately I was gonna do it right now, but I can't. But glad I was able to do it last night, which I highly recommend, do it in the evening. It's amazing. But uh, I had no problems last night, so I think that's good. Anything, uh 
any particular seat matter? Oh yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So I do sit in a modified seat, and so there are a few rows that are up there that carry the modified seats. They are in the center. Uh, I think, uh, I know like row four, row eight, and I think row one. Um, so if you think you may need a modified seat, just tell one of the team members, they'll be more than happy. You may have to wait just a little bit longer, but they'll make sure they'll get you in the right seat so you have a comfortable fit. we couldn't do the Hulk, I'm going to actually go now and try Dr. Doom. I actually have never been on Dr. Doom before, so we'll see. This is kind of like a new for me, so we'll find out on this video. Hey everybody, so yeah, went on Dr. Doom. I did try the tester seat out front and it was kind of iffy whether or not I was gonna be able to do the ride, but I got in, it took, they, the attendant did have to push down one more time, um, but yeah, no problem. I was able to go up and down. <laughs> I don't know if I love the ride, but I will say at one point when I opened my eyes from the initial ascent, the view was absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, if you're not quite sure if you're going to fit on something, always try, if there's a tester seat out front, try it, if there is one. Not all the rides have them, but if you don't fit on the tester seat, still go inside and try the ride. Those tester seats are not 100% accurate. So, like I said, outside, it didn't look like I could ride, and even the attendant said, you should go inside and try. And so I'm glad I did, because I was able to ride, no problem. All right, so, where should we go to next? Hi again, we're over now in Universal Studios and behind me is Rip Ride Rocket. And I have actually never been on Rip Ride Rocket before. So this is gonna be a new experience for me just like Dr. Doom was. So will I or won't I fit? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. See you soon. Hey, so we're back where we started and yeah, no problem with Rip Ride Rocket. As you can see, my hair is crazy now doing all the roller coasters, Hagrid's, Velocicoaster, doing Dr. Doom. No Hulk, unfortunately, but yeah, Rip Ride Rocket. We're still gonna make her go on the mummy. <laughs> but I love the mummy, that's one of my favorite rides. Um, but yeah, you have to pick your song when you're sitting in the seat. So I picked uh, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue because uh, I kind of needed that for the incline to get over. <laughs> but after the incline, yeah, I don't like the incline. It's not fun. But after that, though, it was so much fun. Really enjoyed it. So highly recommend if you love roller coasters. Hey, so we're back. We're over at the Mummy right now. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've ridden the Mummy quite a few times. I've never had a problem. So hopefully today will be just like it has been in the past. I love the Mummy. It's so much fun. It is, well, I keep saying an awesome ride or a favorite ride, but it really is. I love the Mummy. It's a great ride, and uh, you should definitely check it out. Um, there are usually three ways of riding. There's express, there's the regular line, and single rider. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been, any ride that has a single rider, I've been going on, because if you're riding by yourself, you can get through the ri ride queue so much faster doing the single rider, so I highly recommend that. Unless, of course, you wanna actually experience the whole queue, then you should walk through it. All the queues are actually really great to look at. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get in line, and uh, I'll check back with you guys. Hey everybody, we're back over here recording just so we can be out of the noise a little bit. So when on Mummy, awesome as always. That is one of my top favorite rides here. That's up there with Hagrid's. I think Hagrid's and Mummy, two favorites. And no problem like before, fit issue. And I did, I was able to do the single rider line. So I think maybe the, the queue said 35 minutes. I think maybe it was 15 minutes for me tops. Um, so definitely always check out that single rider line if you don't mind riding with another party. And in all honesty, that is kind of where I like tend to like meet people and have a little chit chat, see where people are from. Today, met people who were from Scotland who were standing behind me, so that was kind of nice. But uh, no, everything went really well. So let's see, what did we do today? We did the mummy, 
we did Rip Ride Rocket, we did Doctor Doom, we did a Hagrid's motorbike, we did Forbidden Journey, we did Velocicoaster, and in all of those, I had no issues, and I could ride all of them, no problem, and I enjoyed every single bit of it. I'm so glad you guys could join us, and I hope this maybe gives you the courage or, you know, gives you the gumption to come down here to Universal and to Islands of Adventure and just have fun with your family. Thanks. Hey everybody, as you can see, we are actually now back at home, back in our little recording room. Um, I wanted to kind of like a little bit of a recap from all the little clips that we had in our video of me going on the different rides of the Will I Fit? Um, and anything, any, want to go over any information that maybe I did not include in any of those clips. So as you can see, my main goal when we went down Universal Studios and Island Adventure this time was to try out um, the big ticket rides uh, that I think a lot of people go to the amusement parks to just try out. So I wanted to do the Hulk and I wanted to do um, Velocicoaster, Hagrid's Motorbike, Doctor Doom, Rip Ride Rocket, The Mummy. Uh, I think those are all like the major, the major ticket rides that people are really, uh, you know, curious about, or those are the ones that they're going to go do. So that's why I did those. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I, I have ridden almost every ride combined at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. I think literally there is just like a handful of rides I have not done. Like, uh, and that is just because I just haven't been interested in doing them. Like I haven't been on the carousel just because I haven't wanted to do the carousel yet, but I'm not really worried about fitting on that. Um, so I don't, I didn't want you to think like, oh, I excluded those rides for a reason. Oh no, I've ridden all those rides. Um, but I, um, I've ridden all of those rides, but I really wanted to focus in on these big ticket rides because I think these are the ones that are a bigger concern for people who are, you know, more on the plus size. So as you, as you saw in the videos, I am truly plus size and I had no problems. The only ride I had, I, like, I want to, I don't even want to call it an issue, but I tried the tester seat outside. So a lot of the rides, the bigger ticket rides, will have tester seats outside. So like the big roller coasters over at Islands Adventure and Universal Studios. Um, but those tester seats, you can't trust them. Uh, I don't know if I would fit in any of the tester seats in any of the rides, but yet I fit on the rides. So um, if you're not sure if you fit, if you're not sure if you fit on the tester seat, A, you can always ask the attendant that's standing outside. They'll come over and they'll take a look. Um, and a lot of times they would just say to you like, hey, you should still go inside, try the ride, especially if you're really close in the tester seat. So in Dr. Doom, that's what it was for me. I was really close for basically getting the, the green light and the attendant said, he's like, hey, you know what? I would go inside and try the seat inside. And I did, I had no problem. Um, so I'm glad I did that. And in all honesty, and I went on the ride being like, yeah, it's gonna be 50-50. I may or may not. And I was okay with that. And I think that's part of it too, is that when you're booking these theme park adventures with your family or your friends, um, especially vacation, and I know you're spending a lot of money, you're, you're buying your hotel rooms, you're buying your theme park tickets, and maybe you're having to buy, you know, uh, air travel too, is that you wanna enjoy your time. So what I'm trying to say is make sure you still test the ride, you know, and even if you don't fit, even if that comes to a scenario, it's okay, because I'm gonna be totally honest with you, the queues that a lot of these rides are in are absolutely amazing. So you definitely wanna make sure you check out the queues. Even if you don't even like to like, even if you don't like to ride rides, like my husband's not crazy about doing roller coasters because he kind of has a bad back. Um, I have told him like, listen, you need to just like walk the queue with me because the queue is like really awesome. It's like Velocicoaster, which is a major roller coaster. You know, you're going upside upside down. You're like on a, the, the drop is pretty steep. You know, maybe that isn't for you. Walk the queue. The queue is so much fun. And you just have to tell the attendant, like, listen, I'm not riding. I just want to walk the queue. And they'll totally understand. Um, same thing with like Forbidden Journey over uh, in Hogsmeade or um, even with, even with uh, going on Hagrid's motorbike. If you don't actually want to do the ride, I'm still telling you, walk the queue. It's very, they have made these so interactive in respect to like what you're, what you're looking at. Like they're visually stunning. So if you're a big Harry Potter person, but you don't like rides, I'm still telling you, you got to walk these queues, especially like Escape from Gringotts. The bank 
is absolutely amazing that they did. Um, and especially even the castle over at Forbidden Journey. And so it's still really important to do, do the cues, even if you don't want to ride the rides. Um, but really, you know, I had no issues that day with riding any of the rides. And, you know, I, I do always wear leggings, uh, a loose fitting t-shirt. So I'm comfortable. Um, I'm not gonna like stick to anything because you know, it can get hot and you get sweaty and that's just uncomfortable. I don't care who you are. I don't care what size you are. Um, but no, we just had a great time and I had no issues fitting. So if this is a video that you're kind of interested in, you kind of want to see more videos about stuff like this, please make sure you drop a comment down below. And as always, you know, if you're actually looking to book your next vacation, please reach out to us at Spellbound Adventures. I would love to help you create the next vacation for you, your family, and your friends, you know, and just make that, you know, whatever dream that you have a reality. Uh, because believe me, there is a budget for everything, you know. So I don't want that to deter anybody from, you know, trying to book a vacation to any of these theme park adventures. Um, but they're a lot of fun. What's great is that you can stay at a hotel if you want to, and you just ride the shuttles back and forth to the parks. And it's like, you don't even have to move your car. Like literally we didn't move our car for five days, which was awesome, you know, cause there's tons of places to eat. There's tons of things to do, you know? So I love these theme park adventure vacations in all honesty. It's kind of like, you know, there's just a lot to, for everybody to do when they go there. So I think it's just really awesome. Um, but yeah, definitely hit us up, Spellbound Adventures. If you need a vacation quote, make sure you reach out to me, check out our website. And uh, thank you guys so much for going on this journey with us. We got some more videos coming your way about you know our Mardi Gras week at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, and we can't wait to share it with you. So have a great night, and we will see you in the parks. Bye-bye.